What's up folks, how's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the GTX 1660 Ti and comparing against the AMD graphics cards that are most comparable in terms of price and performance, which are specifically the Vega 56 and the RX 590. We're gonna be taking a look at the specification differences between these three cards and finally a look at some synthetic and real world benchmark results so you can see which one of these cards comes out on top. Let's get right into it. Now specifically, we're using the Gigabyte 1660 Ti Gaming OC. This comes with an upgraded a triple WinForce 80mm fan configuration that spins in alternating directions to eliminate air turbulence. That, coupled with a more beefier heatsink, allows this card uh, to boost up to 1860MHz straight out of the box compared to the reference grade card which has a boost frequency of about 1770MHz. Uh, we're specifically looking at the uh, Vega 56 reference grade card that we got from AMD a couple of years back and the Sapphire RX 590 specifically you can take a look at the uh, specification differences obviously it's hard to compare because this is not an apples to apples comparison since AMD and Nvidia run on completely different architectures but here we have some of the key parameters and facts that describe each card so that way you can get a better general idea we're gonna now go into the actual uh, benchmark results first starting with the synthetic time spy benchmark and then go into the real world gaming benchmarks in uh, 1080p resolution and quad hd resolution and we're specifically looking at average frames per second just to keep things as simple as possible to give you guys an idea in terms of how the 1660 ti compares against the other two so i'm going to stop talking and you guys enjoy the benchmark results Now to sum up everything, I think the 1660 Ti is definitely an excellent value. It's certainly a lot faster than the RX 590 and uh, is a very close to the performance you're going to get with the Vivica 56. In most scenarios, the cards are mostly kind of very, very similar. In some scenarios, the Vega 56 is faster. In other titles, uh, this card is faster. Uh, it's going to really come down to what the best price you're going to find a Vega 56 for. If you can find it used, uh, cheaper than $280, definitely an awesome deal but in the uh, new uh, category I know that the Vega 56s are still a little bit more expensive than uh, the uh, GTX 1660 Ti so in that scenario brand new this card is definitely an awesome option if you haven't seen our video against uh, this card with the Nvidia uh, graphics cards definitely do so you can click on the card or in the description down below you can also find details about everything we talked about in the video including our uh, gaming bench Mark rig configurations and uh, if you uh, want to support the channel if you use any of those Amazon affiliate links it helps us support all these videos makes everything possible and I want to thank you guys so much for your support thanks for watching make sure you have notifications turned on so you get our videos once they become available to you and other than that we'll see you later take care